God is moving on the streets. If we can touch that one, that one gang member with that one word, we can reach entire gangs. We can reach entire cities. We the people of God are going to bring the light into the darkness. They're like sheep without a shepherd. They don't know him yet. A lot of times they feel trapped. Anyone that's growing in light is going to have an increasing heart for those who are in darkness. Go in his power and in his love and demonstrate who he is. I think you people made a believer out of me. Can we send him out two by two. To a wounded and dying world. Not to condemn, but to love. Know his love, man. He, he really loves you. The dead rate, the sick heal, devil cast out in great measure, the poor looked after, and it should be normal Christianity. God's heart burns for the lost. And he wants us to take the prophetic to the streets. Welcome to Extreme Prophetic. My name's Patricia King, and I'm ever glad you're with us today for the program on the gold and the glory. We've actually already been getting manifestations of the glory in the studio. You'll want to stay tuned for this program because we're going to take light into the darkness with His glory. It's amazing because sometimes people will want to test it with earthly measurement and then they can't figure out what it is. They say, well, this isn't like gold or this isn't like this metal or that metal. But the thing is, it's a heavenly substance, it's a heavenly sign and a wonder. How can you, like you said in the Bible, it says that we have to discern these things by the Spirit of God. That's the only way that we're going to be able to discern exactly. what God is doing because I believe that which He wants to release in the earth today is that which has not been seen and that which has not been heard. Yeah. But it says in, in the Bible that God shall reveal it by His Spirit. And as His Spirit comes, as His glory comes, He's revealing that which He wants to do. Welcome to Insights. I have with me Joshua Mills. And Joshua, it's great to have you. Thank you. You and your wife, Janet, are just awesome. An awesome ministry couple who just have opened the heavens for many people. And we're so grateful uh, for you. And of course, we have Charlie Robinson with us. But the subject today is on the gold and the glory. Amen. And uh, Joshua, right now, I don't know if people can see it, you know, if the cameras can, can catch it, but you're starting to get covered in gold. Right. It started just a little while ago in the green room. You started getting the odd little flake here and there. It just starts showing up. And it's been increasing. It's been spreading yeah. to a lot of us. We're starting right, to get little glitter right, right. pieces all over the place. It's on the floor of the studio <laughs> and it's increasing and accelerating it's and awesome. like um, how did this start happening I guess this uh, the manifestation that go does oh I've got it really look in at my on hands, your hands wow. there. it's just coming you can see it's coming out of the creases of my head like the pores of my my skin but one of the the things that oh happened my was goodness. when this this first started to come we were in a meeting with a unity meeting with all different churches all coming together but it wasn't like a regular unity meeting you know sometimes churches try to 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 bring things together in the flesh but it says in the bible that the work of the flesh profiteth nothing but the work of the spirit brings yeah. forth life and it was something that god was doing in the spirit we weren't coming together saying you can't talk in in tongues or or we can't clap because it might right. offend people but we we're coming together in the spirit and the different ones were coming together just to worship jesus as lord and we had like the catholics the methodists the baptists all the different ones the pentecostals the charismatics we're all coming together and in the midst of that place of unity the glory came down Wow. And, and I, I believe the gold he, showed up when the glory came, the glory, the, right, the right, gold accompanied right. I believe it's all one and the same. You know, the, the Bible talks about signs and wonders, and I love signs. It says in Acts 2, 19, I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath. Right. And you know, um, the Bible also talks about gold and glory. And in the Hebrew, one of the root words used to describe the glory and gold are exactly the same. And the world, uh, the highest thing that they can have in the world is the gold. And yet sure. as Christians, the, the best thing that we could ever have is the manifest presence of God or His glory. And for some reason, God today is, is showing us as a sign the gold. It's coming down even Amen. in the natural, Amen. like it's coming on you right, right now right. To, as a sign of His glory. In fact, Isaiah 60 says, His glory will be seen upon you That's and right. then nations Christ will come. Your light has come. Yeah. And the glory of the Lord shall appear upon you. 
shall be seen upon you. Uh, when I was at one of your uh, meetings, um, right. um, a woman that you had visiting there who is also visited by the glory, um, especially with the gold manifestations, her Bible, the pages of her Bible were just filled wow, with wow. all this gold. And so uh, she dumped some into my Bible, so uh -huh. I cherished it. And I ended up giving it all away <laughs> and hoping that I'd get some more. Amen. But <laughs> I'm believing for that return. I so it's given, it shall be given to you. I Press down, shake Amen. together, and running over. Yes. Amen. 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 Like even as we're sitting here, Joshua, as uh -huh. we're sitting here, the gold is multiplying yeah. all right. over you, all over your head. That happens when the glory comes. You can't blame it on me. I remember, <laughs> I remember um, one time you had a black suit on, in you know, uh -huh. black suit suit jacket. There was so much gold; it was just like covered. Your shoulders were covered right. in gold. Now, does that have any kind of prophetic significance? Well, I believe uh, some of it has to do with governmental authority and, and the different things that he's allowing us to, to do the in the shoulders glory. indicate uh, that. Right, right, yeah. right. But I believe uh, one of the prophetic signs of this golden glory coming in this day is that Jesus Christ is coming back for his church and the bridegroom's coming for his bride and he's making her ready. He's preparing. It says in the Bible that he's coming back for bride without spot or without wrinkle. And for a long time, the church has looked like Cinderella's ugly stepsister. You know, mm -hmm. we've been ugly, we've been nasty, we've been mean. But I believe prophetically that God is causing his church to be beautiful yes. and adorning us with gold, just like somebody, a fiance, would, would give to, to his, his girlfriend uh, a ring, a gold ring, yeah. signifying that the wedding's coming soon, that, wow. that they're going to get married. It's the same thing that God's doing to his church. So again, we're talking about signs, and right, oftentimes right. God will give a sign in the natural that is is, is speaking of a supernatural yeah, or a sure. spiritual meaning. Sure. And um, it says in uh, Corinthians that the things of the spirit cannot be discerned by the natural faculties. Right, right. You know, the things of the eternal realm have to be discerned by the spirit. Because right. a natural man, it doesn't make any sense. That's right. In fact, it says it's foolishness to him. Have you ever right. um, come into that kind of a thing where people think it's foolishness? It's amazing because sometimes people will want to test it with earthly measurement and then they can't figure out what it is. They say, well, this isn't like gold or this isn't like this metal or that metal. But the thing is, it's a heavenly substance. Mm -hmm. It's a heavenly sign and a wonder. How can you, like you said in the Bible, it says that we have to discern these things by the Spirit of God. That's the only way yeah. that we're going to be able to discern exactly. what God is doing because I believe that which he wants to release in the earth today is that which has not been seen and that which has not been heard. Yeah. But it says in, in the Bible that God shall reveal it by his Spirit. And as his Spirit comes, as his glory comes, he's revealing wow. that which he wants to do. Wow. It's amazing. That is really mm -hmm. cool. You know, I find um, sometimes, well, I mean, this was in Jesus' day too, is that people sometimes do not like the packaging that God right, chooses yeah. to bring right. his glory in. Many like, times, sure. um, when we had, uh, Todd Bentley was out at our place out in uh, Mission British Columbia years ago, and uh, we were in the prayer room and we started just having this expectation. We knew that God was gonna do something supernatural. We just didn't know what, and of course the um, outpouring of the gold stuff had just happened. Sure. All of a sudden it hit the meeting big time and everyone right. was getting gold everywhere. <laughs> They're getting gold teeth, all kinds of stuff. And right. we might talk a bit more about that in, in God talk. Mm -hmm. But what surprised me is is that when we sent the praise reports out saying, God showed up, yeah. gold sparkles everywhere. I mean, right. we're running around with flashlights looking at each other's <laughs> right, mouth right, because right, everyone's right, getting right. gold teeth. <laughs> but people were, were, were upset about that. They were actually um, writing us back emails saying, sure. we don't think it's right that God would do that. We don't, we can't right. even believe that God would do that right. um, because, you know, he should be healing people instead or something like that. Right. And I'm thinking, give me a break. Yeah. You know, right. I mean, God can do whatever right. he wants why, to Why do. wouldn't God do right. something like that? Yeah, why what, you see, he? why wouldn't God do something wonderful, even like this? Right. I love signs. And I think that the church, we need to wake up because God is moving. And when he's put, these are the precious things of God. Amen. And they're not things to be, they're, they're things to be enjoyed, but not played with. We're to enjoy these things Amen. that God gives us in these signs. And I believe that if we would, as a church, receive them, enjoy them, we would begin to see even greater manifestation, course, manifestations in the church and even in the communities that we yeah, live in. Of course. Joshua, is it okay to like ask God for like gold glitter? You know, many times before the meeting, we actually spend time praying and believing God for it to come. Right. And it says in the Bible to ask him for spiritual gifts. Yeah. And so if he's wanting to hand out gifts, if he's wanting to give it, why not ask him for it? 
I just think that's so mm -hmm. cool. And you know what else? Isn't it interesting that when God started releasing the manifestation of the gold glitter and that, right. that at the exact same time in the world, you started to be able to buy like makeup with right. glitter in it or sprays with, because with hair stuff. It's the counterfeit. Yeah. And it's right. also, you know, always just trying to be little what God is yep. doing. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. It's just amazing. Well, we as a ministry, I tell you, we love signs and wonders. Yeah. Amen. We love you. And we love you. all that you. gold glitter all over yeah. right God. now. And uh, <laughs> I think it's fantastic. And, and we love you, too. And uh, we'd love to see you uh, just blessed by miracle signs and wonders. And, and in fact, you might want to take a look at your hands right now or your clothes because it might be falling on you. It just <laughs> You start talking about it and start getting into it. And all of a sudden, yeah. it manifests. And uh, I just had a just a little bit and now it's multiplying. I had one little sparkle and now I've got about a dozen of them on my hands right now. And uh, sometimes they grow and get bigger and bigger. But we still want you to be blessed. And for some of you that think, I can't take this, the packaging just turns me off. This is just too weird. Well, get over it. You know, God's a big God and, and uh, you haven't seen anything yet. We're gonna see a lot more than just gold flakes and glitter. We're gonna see his glory fill the earth as the waters cover the sea and we're committed unto that and as we are committed to you. If you want a solid biblical foundation in growing in supernatural experience, then the Glory School is for you. Plan on attending this life-changing, power-packed event. For more info about schools nearest you, go online at extremeprophetic.com. This course is also available in audio CD or tape format. Join the Extreme Team for two entire days and evenings of activation into supernatural experience. Learn how to access the third heaven, interact with angels, and experience a variety of kingdom encounters. This exciting faith building course is only available to those who have completed a glory school through live seminars or audio CDs or tapes. Go online at ExtremeProphetic.com to find out how you can attend the next Glory to Glory school. God talk and we're just still into talking about the gold and the glory of God. The glory is like the copiousness of God, the greatness, the yeah. splendor, the the bigness, the mucho Amen. bigness of, all that he is. of God's yeah. goodness. Amen. It is all Amen. that he is and all that he has. And so when when the gold falls, it's like a manifestation of his presence and his goodness, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And I so it brings an anointing with it too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Josh, tell us about about what happened in your apartment in California. Several years ago, we were in our apartment, and I mean, you know, God just began sending down the different manifestations, and the gold dust began coming down in our apartment, and it, it actually filled the living room. I actually first noticed it. I was sitting at the computer, and I first noticed it going up my arm. I felt a tingling sensation on my arm, and then it just started to spread all over our living room where our, our computer had been, and it was on the couch and on the, the, the curtains and on the carpet and on the walls everywhere. So then I walked up, and I go into the kitchen, and it's in our kitchen, in the sink, in the microwave, in the oven and everywhere, I mean, in the plates, everywhere, in the dishes, wow. just everywhere, this golden glory, and it just continued to spray. It went all the way down wow. our hall into the bedrooms, into the bathroom. We went into the bathroom closet, way into the back, you know, those towels that we hadn't used for a long time. We opened the towels here, the gold dust just falls out of the wow. towel. He had covered our entire apartment with the gold dust. He filled your house and, with the glory. Right. That's tremendous. And, and so we didn't know exactly why but I believe that God will always tell you and give you the revelation if you pursue him and, right. and pursue what he's doing. That's what a sign will do. It'll make you seek him right. for it does. his message it that's does. behind the sign. It's not about the sign but it's about him because yeah. it, it draws your attention right to Jesus, right to the face of Jesus who he is. Yeah. And so we began to pursue him and we called a few friends over, come over and of course they got slain in the spirit. They're laying in our apartment. We're wow. having a great time. But then the go does spread from inside our apartment 
down the common hallway oh, in our apartment building and it began going into the different apartments That's and into the different pathetic. homes. Great. So we put this big sign on our door that said, this is a sign and wonder from God with the scripture out of Haggai, which says the silver is mine and the gold is mine. Yeah. It says, yeah. It's right in the Bible, says That's the Lord right. Almighty. And, uh, and, and so we put the sign up just as a testimony to these people wow. that this is what God is doing in your face, in your yeah. home. But that's such a prophetic picture that is coming out of the house of Christians or yeah. the right, church right. into the yeah. streets, into right. the world around us. That's what he wants to do with his glory. Charlie had, um, you had a, a sign and a wonder on your thumbs one time, yeah, didn't I'm, you? I'm actually getting gold dust right on my thumbs. <laughs> uh, we were in Temecula, California. I was ministering on the gold and the glory. And uh, at, right at the end of the meeting, I looked at my hands and no other part of my hand except my thumbs, it looked like God had taken a paintbrush and painted the ends of my sure. thumbs with gold. <laughs> and it was like I had two gold fingerprints and the, the thumbs represent the apostolic. And I really believe wow. that the apostolic or the fathering heart of God, the nurturing, covering heart of God is releasing this. Like it, the gold is covering you. It covered your home. It covered right, the things right, in your home. Right. And there's something about the safety, the secret place of the Most High, the, the presence, the intimate presence of Amen. the Father coming. The Apostolic release, Amen. and it's all a part of that of of the uh, Father Heart of God coming and, and covering His people. Amen. We've had um, uh, gold teeth in the meetings sure. with people that didn't have any gold there before. Uh -huh. In fact, um, one of our friends, and we're going to show you a clip of this because it's amazing. And when she went to the uh, dentist that she's had ever since she was young, he said. Wow, like there's no explanation for this. Right. I don't get it. You can't explain that. You can't explain it, but they were so brilliant. But um, like, do you have any insight? Like, what does that mean? That ha probably has prophetic value, I'm sure. Right. But do you have any idea what it would mean? Like, why would God come and give gold, gold teeth? You know, I um, I know that one thing God is doing, again, it's a covering. Many people that we've seen uh, got gold caps where God covered their teeth, where there was some decay or there'd been problems, it was covered with the gold. Uh, some of them had, you know, that one scripture says, open your mouth and I will fill it. I mean, right. uh, God can, was if, filling tea. If you can fill it with praise, why can't he fill it with gold? Absolutely. <laughs> I remember one night after a meeting, Todd Bentley had been in church. Gold was spread out everywhere. People were getting gold teeth, all that. Right. It was up in northern British Columbia. Afterwards, the people in the church went out to the bars and they said, uh -huh. oh, God, that's my tooth. God gave yeah. me a gold tooth. Yeah. And they were showing all the gold. And these guys in the bar, this was late at night, these guys in the bar said, you got that at church. And they said, right. yeah, he's going to be there tomorrow night too. And God right. will show up and maybe there'll right. be more gold. And so all the guys from the bar showed up in church the next night right. and right gave on. their hearts right. to Jesus yeah. Christ. And that's what a sign is for too, is yes. to lead people right. to Jesus. It's for the unbelievers. Yes. Yes. And several times that's happened to us, you know, where we've gone to a meeting after, or, or gone to a restaurant after the meeting and we're covered with this golden glory. And it just continues to increase upon the people uh, and upon us. And it makes the people ask a question. In many places it would be, politically incorrect to bring up the name of Jesus, but when someone asks you a question, you're allowed to answer them. And it's awesome when they open up the door for you to yeah. talk about Jesus. And say hello there. Right, What's right. You? <laughs> you know, you said, uh, Josh, you said, it's a sign for the unbeliever. Mm -hmm. And you know what? There's lots of unbelievers in, in the, the church. In the church, you're right. That's true. You're we right. oftentimes think about you're that right. as being the unsafe. Right. But you know, maybe that's why God is visiting his church with, with golden glory. Maybe it's to awaken us to faith. And maybe you're watching this program right now and you're saying, I don't believe this. Well, that's why God's giving you this sign so that you will believe. And maybe you should just take a little switcheroo in your thinking and say, you know, God is real. He's big. I'm not God and I'm not big. And maybe God's just really doing something here. And, uh, and your whole life can change as a result of that. And you know what? I think really... The church has to embrace these signs a lot yeah. more. Yes. I know that time. the streets don't have, you know, people on the streets, when we show them the glory and they that, don't have a problem, they don't have a problem no. with it at all. In fact, it's good news for them. Mm -hmm. It's good news yeah. for modern man to yeah. see the glory of God. It, it says that we're going to take the glory and fill the earth with the knowledge of it. And um, maybe that glory is going to fall on you right now. This is one dimension of it, the, a visible, tangible aspect of the glory of God. Why don't you just open your heart to receive right now? Do you desire anointed teaching, prayer, impartation, and prophetic words that speak personally to your heart? Would you like an online shopping mall that can resource your life with life-impacting teachings? All of this and more can be found on ExtremeProphetic.com. Visit us today online. Everything on the site is available to you on demand to facilitate your own lifestyle and schedule.
Okay, when the gold first started coming in our meetings, we had seen it, heard about it. Um, then we thought, that's great. Went to a meeting and began preaching. And during the meeting, people were just, you know, weeping and being touched by the Lord. And, and at the end of the meeting, we looked at the four walls and the four walls were plastered with gold. Gold everywhere, the four walls of this church. We, we were just surprised. We had never seen it, heard of it. We haven't heard of anyone that had that happen on walls. And we had that happen many times since. And all these Catholics kept coming with a scotch tape that they bought and they were trying to get the gold off the walls and bring it home to their friends. And then, then when their friends saw it, they would come at night and get saved and get miracles, get healing. So the gold was like a draw that got all these people that were Catholic, a little bit superstitious, into salvation. So if it was from the devil, he made a big mistake putting gold in because all these people got saved. So I think anything that brings people to Jesus is an awesome tool. And it, it, if it works, praise God, you know, you judge it by its fruit. So people getting saved, that's pretty good fruit to me. If you want to learn how to experience the supernatural presence and power of God, then this is the course for you. Learn how to know God in an intimate way, receive teaching on angels, heaven, and supernatural phenomena. The school is informative, exciting, and life-changing. Register soon as enrollment for the school is limited. For more information, visit our website at extremeprophetic.com. Join the Extreme Team for two entire days and evenings of activation into supernatural experience. Learn how to access the third heaven, interact with angels, and experience a variety of kingdom encounters. This exciting faith-building course is only available to those who have completed a glory school through live seminars or audio CDs or tapes. Go online at ExtremeProphetic.com to find out how you can attend the next Glory to Glory school. There's a, a young gal watching the program. I think you're around 16 years of age, maybe 14, maybe a little bit younger. Um, you look older than what you really are. But um, you just long for the supernatural. And you've been watching this program, and you think, oh, I want the gold. And you've been looking at your hands to see if it's showing up, and it hasn't yet. But the Lord's saying that his, his hand is upon you. His hand is upon you, and there's a, an enormous ministry call on your life, and you're going to make um, a lot of people happy in Jesus uh, just by being real and talking to them about your God. And you are going to start to see supernatural signs and wonders, and God's going to open up the doors for you, you to be in certain places where you're going to see his hand move. So, Kiana, you just get excited about Jesus. You know why? He's excited about you. You know, I'm seeing a young man right now, and uh, you're not a believer. You came across this program, and you're going, who are these guys, and what are they talking about? And listen, I want you to look at your hands right now. There's gold on your hand. Take a look at them. You see, that's a sign that Jesus Christ loves you. That's a sign that he's real. That's a sign that his glory is upon you. And take this opportunity right now just to turn to him right now. Right now, I see that there's a, a man, your name is Reuben, and you were in a car accident, and, and it was a terrible accident. It's, it's damaged your neck and your back, and, and the doctors have told you that you'd never be able to, to, to walk again the same, and, but God is coming right now with his power, and he's touching you, and I want you to look at your hands because the gold dust is coming on your hands. This is a sign of what he's beginning to do, even within your body, in your neck, and in your back, supernaturally by the power of the Holy Spirit. One of the signs of, of uh, the glory of God is the healing power of Jesus Christ. And um, someone that's watching the program, you've got a very sore wrist. I have a feeling it has something to do with uh, carpal tunnel, but there's something else um, there too. And right now, just start, just start moving that. Just start moving the wrist. There you go. There you go. And you're thinking, whoa, whoa, it doesn't hurt as much anymore. Oh, the pain's starting to go. That's right. Just keep keep moving it. Do you feel that? That's his presence. That's his healing presence. That's his divine presence touching you. You're getting a healing. And it's going right up into the back of your shoulder there as well. There's somebody watching. Uh, you injured yourself getting out of the bathtub. You slipped. Your knee went haywire. You wrenched it out of shape. And right now, God is touching your knee, healing. It's a left knee. God is healing your knee. Right now, you feel the fire. And the glory of God is coming through your body right now. And um, there's someone that's uh, needing your teeth straightened, and you've been really embarrassed about the teeth. And um, 
I feel like the Lord's saying he's going to bring you the gold, the money that is needed to strengthen those teeth. Praise and it's God. going to come within 30 days because he wants your smile to be everything that you want it to be in him. So he cares a lot about you. We're talking about the gold and the glory. Well, the gold is coming and it's got your name on it. So don't worry about a thing. The bill's paid. Do you desire anointed teaching, prayer, impartation, and prophetic words that speak personally to your heart? Would you like an online shopping mall that can resource your life with life-impacting teachings? All of this and more can be found on ExtremeProphetic.com. Visit us today online. Everything on the site is available to you on demand to facilitate your own lifestyle and schedule. Become a Breaker Team member today and partner with us in God's media army and harvest teams through your monthly financial gift of $30 or more. As a partner, you are prayed for every day by skilled intercessors on our team. You receive special gifts, reduced registration fees, and exclusive privileges during many Extreme Prophetic sponsored events. As a Breaker Team financial partner, you receive the Breaker anointing that rests upon Extreme Prophetic. Partner with us today and join the Extreme Prophetic family. Thanks so much for joining us on Extreme Prophetic today. I've just had a blast myself. It's just been so much fun in the studio. And we're believing that it's been fun in your home too. Why? Because Jesus loves you. And here's a prophetic word, a destiny word for each and every one of you. It's for all people and for all time. It's this, God loves you with an everlasting love. He really does. We'll see you next time. And join us online at extremeprophetic.com this week. I like watching God put people in a place where they have to embrace mystery because mystery is a huge part of the Christian faith and being able to embrace the things that I don't understand. You know, we have oil that forms on people's hands, especially children, which is real strange. Just oil will just start almost dripping from their hands. We have uh, the gold dust that happens. So one uh, gentleman had a flake, a large flake of gold appear on his chin. He had it checked out by a, a uh, I forget what they call him, but a, a guy who evaluates metals. And uh, he said it's the purest gold he's ever seen, and it has a strange mixture of oil in it. And so it's all kinds of things. We had one uh, group, a couple that was moving to our church. They had a feather fall in their car. They took it to an ornithologist, a bird specialist, and he, and he examined it, examined it, examined it. He says, you know, he says, I haven't run DNA tests on it, but as far as I can tell, this is the breast feather of a white dove. And uh, the, the Lord has interesting ways to get our attention, and that's what He's doing. He's really working to get our affections set on His world, to draw us, and He use any kind of sign that He needs to draw us. And uh, I feel bad for those that can walk up to the burning bush and say, wow, another burning bush, and walk on. Moses turned aside. He turned aside, and that's what changed his life. And people will say, oh, I would turn aside if I saw a burning bush. I said, well, you saw cancer disappear last night. How is your life different? Did you turn aside? Because it's being pulled aside at those moments of divine interventions. That's when God says, I've got one. Now I can shape history through. And, uh, and that's what we do is we're working to get people to destroy their list. And they say, God, we just welcome you. Come and do as you please. Let us know the move of the Spirit because we're familiar with your presence, not because you fit our qualifications.